Jesus, I give you praise. I thank you, Father God, for the sounding of the shofar. And I thank you for this clarion call for 500 prayer warriors to step forth. 500 prayer warriors to pray for 50 days. The 50 days starting on the day of the United States presidential election, November the 4th, and ending on Christmas Eve. It makes 50 days the number between uh, uh, Passover and the fulfillment of the, of the promise at uh, Pentecost. You see, recently I was on a, uh, on a TV show, an award-winning uh, TV channel, uh, Revelation TV, together with my, my dear friend and, and colleague, uh, Pastor Yemi, who was presenting the program. And as I was preparing for the program, I saw the shofar being blown. And as the shofar was being blown, a herd of bulls, was released a herd of bulls were released and the bulls represented the apostolic office and the apostolic ministry and i saw a a fresh apostolic movement coming off and being sparked in different nations of the world and i saw i i, I knew in my spirit that this was a call to pray that we needed to get a battalion of prayer warriors praying but uh, before i go further why, why do we need to pray you see not not all prophecies are are unconditional and we see that even with what's going on and what depending on what time you're watching this with the US elections the prophetic words are very clear they are very clear concerning God's choice very very clear but that means that there must be an a prayer army that is raised to enforce the will of God at the same time and so I saw myself blowing that shofar and as I blowed, an apostolic movement was sparked in various parts, various nations of the world. And um, somebody may ask, why this symbolism of a bull? I, I, I love this passage. It's Proverbs 14, verse 4 in the message. It says, no cattle, no crops. A good harvest requires a strong ox for the plow, a strong ox for the plow. There's something about the bullish nature of the apostolic, the determination, the strength, the aggression, the anointing that is required to bring in the great harvest of the Lord. You see, the Lord put it this way in Matthew chapter 9 and from verse 37. He, he said, pray therefore the, the, the Lord of the harvest to thrust out to push, to force out laborers into the harvest. And this was because he said he, he saw the fields white to the harvest and the, the fields are ripe. And then in the next verse, which is which is actually chapter 10, but the, the chapter of delineations weren't there in the original. You know, he called the, the 12 disciples and he gave them authority and power. And as he gave them authority and power, he configured a new ministry term. You see, there were already Levites, there were already priests, there, there were already prophets, but he said there needs to be a new office that I will hand over the baton of this, uh, this great commission to preach the gospel with signs falling to every nation of the world. And he took the phrase apostle and he released the commission to the apostles. Now we need to pray for a thrusting out, for a releasing of apostles now it wasn't just the initial 12 that that, that he spoke of in in my book the blaze of Tr Tr transition you can get you can get it on amazon I, I i list another 16 apostles so apostles not just the original 12 and and i'll define what an apostle who an apostle is you know in, in later in a later broadcast but Suffice to say, they are men and women who operate in signs, wonders, extraordinary wisdom, and are one of the key two foundational offices that are required to fulfill the Great Commission. But it, it, needs, it needs a prayer army to thrust out these, these, these apostles, this apostolic movement, this herd of bulls that I saw. I've explained the, the, the 50 days also. The, the other two things that, that I saw was that I saw also that there was a move of God that was going to come to Andalusia. Andalusia is a region in Spain, massive region in Spain, which houses the Revelation TV studios. And I, I saw in the spirit that just like the Shunammite woman was rewarded for making the, the, the prophet's room for, for, for the prophet, that also Andalusia would be rewarded. So we're also to pray, the prayer army, if you're one of the 500 prayer warriors, you're to also pray what I saw. I saw this, this reward and... Um, the Lord gave me this verse, Isaiah 41, 18. I will open rivers in desolate heights 
and fountains in the midst of the valleys. I will make the wilderness a pool of water and the dry land springs of water. And then again, Matthew chapter 4, is the Bible speaks of Jesus as he left Nazareth and he came to where the waters were. So the land of Zebulun by the land of Naphtali, by the way of the sea. The people who sat in darkness have seen a great light. We are to pray a release of, there'll be a move of God in Andalusia as a reward of, of, of uh, that region housing an award the award-winning TV channel uh, Revelation TV so let it be father in the name of Jesus and then thirdly for Revelation TV see God uses uh, Revelation TV uh, as a prophetic voice but he wants to really amplify that voice and I, I saw a key being given and it was a mix of a, a physical golden key but it was also an algorithmic key it unlocked certain secrets to the heart of God it unlocked certain broadcasting secrets that will really make this this TV station to, to really go uh, at a different level of influence that it has before in, in the name of Jesus and even into Africa if you want to help with getting Revelation TV into Africa you know please please do contact me or, or Pastor Yemi there's there's a there's something that God is doing and something that God is shifting now the, the 500 the 500 warriors you see the, the Lord showed me from 1 Corinthians 15 where Paul was speaking and he said I delivered to you that which I received that Jesus died for our sins he was buried he was raised and he was seen by the 12 over that and after that he was seen by over 500 500 is a number of divine witness so if what I'm saying to you about the the, 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 the apostolic bulls the, the the movement of God what he wants to do with Revelation TV what he wants to do with the region of Andalusia but also other nations the apostolic movement is going to come to other nations out of what happens as a result of the United States elections there's coming a release of apostolic bulls new apostolic movements in america i see it also in brazil i see it in nigeria and i see it in spain a new birthing of apostles of apostolic movement you see this herd of bulls they've been fettered they've, they've been behaving like cows they've been behaving like sheep they've been they've been lied tied down but they hear a voice coming to them saying rise up you apostle of christ rise up you you, you mighty woman of god you mighty man of god take on the, the apostolic mantle and mandate and begin to do the signs and wonders and pull in pull in and pull in the harvest so uh, as, as, as I as I gave this call on Revelation TV and there was an alignment in the spirit with these prayer points I saw many blessings coming upon those 500 I saw marriages being healed relationships being healed resources I see it now resources released healings come in the name of Jesus so I, I want to encourage you what I'm saying bear witness with your heart get in touch with me to be one of the 500 you can do so by whatsapping me on um, UK number 0787202 or emailing me at prayer at hyperglobal.org hyperglobal.org or or info at revelation tv.com for the attention of my dear friend and colleague pastor Yemi so those are those are the three things pray for a release of this herd of apostles to the assignments a move of God in Andalusia a new key for Revelation TV and then we'll be sending you if you sign up to be one of the 500 we'll send you further prayer updates on behalf of myself and uh, Pastor Yemi of Revelation TV God bless you get in touch like I said the Lord is waiting at the door and he's about to do some supernatural miracles in your life he has your life in his hand and he will work these wonders in your life but obey the call of the Lord sign up to be one of this battalion of army intercessors God bless you